What's up, this is EasyOS 10, and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to burn files and programs onto a DVD or CD using Mac's built-in disk utility. First, have the file ready that you're going to burn. I'm using the Ubuntu 11.10 ISO as an uh, example image. Next, insert the disk into your computer. I already have mine in, so no need to bother with it. Next, go ahead and open Disk Utility like I have here. You can find it under Applications and going to your Utilities folder right here. Or, of course, you can always go to Spotlight and type in Disk Utility. Go ahead and open it up. What you want to do, drag the file into the left sidebar here. Go ahead and click on it and hit burn. It'll find the disk inside your super drive. Go ahead and select the speed. Uh, either speed doesn't really matter. The key thing here though is you want to go ahead and hit verify burn data. What this does is after it goes ahead and burns the file, it will check and make sure that all the data that it burned onto the disk is in good order. You can also go ahead and check eject disk when done or mount the disk to desktop. I'm going to leave it on eject because I'm going to use this for somewhere else. You'll also be able to check erase disk before burning and leave disk appendable if the computer sees there's any data left on the disk. So if this was a reusable DVD or CD, it might see it and give me the option to erase it. When you're ready, go ahead and hit burn. Now we see the disk utility has said that my image has burned successfully and my disk is ready to use. I'll eventually go test this on another computer to make sure it does work. Uh, a couple things to note, to make sure this, the best way to make sure this works is to have a good disk, make sure it doesn't have any scratches, probably the newer the better generally. Uh, you also want to have whatever image uh, be from a good source and not have gotten corrupted at all. So for the Ubuntu image, I went to ubuntu.com, go download it. Now one other method I will show here is, uh, if you don't want to go through all that step, you can also right click on the file with the clean disk inside of it, the Mac and then hit burn to disk. Anyway, this has been EasyOS 10 and thanks for watching my video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and be sure to check out my blog, my Twitter, and my Facebook. All those links will be in the description and if you have any comments, suggestions, questions, whatever, just leave them below or send me a message. Thanks again for watching.